us, our next internet warrior has literally lost his words. <laughs> I kind of get it. <laughs> you guys got to get me cheesy. <laughs> Taylor, man. <laughs> Taylor Allred from Utah was near the top of Argentina's tallest peak when he became tongue-tied. Speech is a very complicated task. That speech is a very complicated. It is. <laughs> as, I'm as I'm now demonstrating. What? Water. Wizard. Wizard. <laughs> well, we don't have any wizards, but we do have scientists. So. Luckily, his friends have realized that his inability to speak is not just something funny for them to film. It's a potential symptom of altitude sickness, which can lead to high altitude cerebral edema. The brain, even though it's only about three pounds, it takes up about 25% of the oxygen that we breathe in. So the first thing that's going to notice a lack of oxygen is the brain. At high altitudes, the capillaries leak out fluid into the tissue. But this is a problem because you have the skull outside, so the brain can't just get bigger and bigger. And with that increased pressure, there's just nowhere for the brain to go. If it shifts around within the skull, there's potential for huge damage there. And this finally will lead to death. I need some drugs, drugs, drugs. To treat his altitude sickness, there's a certain drug called acetazolamide that acidifies the blood and increases respiration, so you get more oxygen coming into your body. But most importantly, they take him to a lower altitude, where he has more oxygen available to him naturally. It's mostly over. This is the cool view to where. Blessed with it. 